Welcome back, everybody, to the probably last episode of Breath of Fire 3. And the last time we came down these stairs, Honey ran off, and whenever she does that, well, it usually means a story-related event. Uh, I'm going to check my form. I think I'm going to go with the attack form. I could go with magic and let Ryu kind of shine, but... Pico's my favorite character, so why not let him shine? Um, oh, good, good. Honey, doing? You open that for us? Apparently, yes. Awesome! Wait, did Miria create honey then? Where will her loyalties lie? Oh god, double doors? You're an amazing machine. Do you know that, honey? And he's like, Mom. Attention. Navigator code for highest level functions is accepted. Is that a lady? Access to library mode granted. Library mode? Alright, walk, don't run. Walk, don't run. Items here? Probably not. Alrighty, let's see where this elevator takes us. We're going down. Kind of expect us to go up. We're gonna be the god. Oh wow, we're going down. Wow, that was actually a long elevator. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um. Oh, that's that's cool. Light our path, why don't you? Oh, who's this? Welcome, we serve the Almighty Goddess. Before you meet with the Holy Miria, please hear our words. I'm um, sure, whatever. Are there multiple of you, or do you just talk about yourself? Fucking joking. Wait, she's just gonna stand there in the middle of combat? No, okay, Miss Man. Um. Okay. Yeah, got away. Lob it. Lob it, lob it, lob it. Oh, you pushed me back. Holy Meteor wets you ahead. You said to hear your words. You didn't say anything. That was weird. That's percussion! Oh, there are multiples. Before the coming of Miria, the world was dying. The wounded earth was being covered by sand. Oh. And the very life was being sucked out of the inhabitants. That sounds less than good. I mean, where are you not? Oh, good. The grieving Mira used all her divine power to divide the world into two halves. One half being where you are now, the desert of death, and the other. <clears throat> the world you came from, overflowing with life. Interesting. She doesn't sound like too bad of a person, then. I think this is like the dad's way of saying, Appreciate the world we made for you! It's lovely, and it really is. The two worlds are separated by the vast and violent ocean you call the Outer Sea. Which protects your world from the desert. Oh, does it now? Interesting. Very interesting. Why'd she get so tech-savvy? The majority of life that escaped death was taken like yourselves to the other world. The majority, you say? Hmm. It is Miria's desire to protect life. To protect your world. Even a monster's life is sacred to Miria. Okay, well, what's this way? It looks like that's where we need to get up to. Or maybe an item? Item? Nothing. Shucks. Shucks. Okay. Well, at least there are no encounters, so I'll take off the holy... Oh, holy metal. There it is. You need your Artemis hat back. Because you miss way too fucking much. 
Okay. Irish charm, Irish charm, wisdom ring. Yeah. Give him a Irish charm as well. This is really neat. Really neat. In order to protect the life she so loved, Varian instituted many forms of safeguards and controls. Really? Foremost among these is the control of technology. Like not supposed to utilize it or something. According to her, Miriam makes certain that no dangerous machines, like weapons, are developed. Uh, Momo has a cannon. You have war bots or death bots. Miriam allows the use and repair of only existing machines, and keeps the study of machines from leading to potentially destructive ends. Basically, stops people from doing nuclear missiles. Gotcha. Second control is achieved through the energy of Chrism Ore. Chrism Ore is the fossilized remains of living beings. Yeah, dragons. My brethren, my family. Thanks, jerk. Ah, so sad. Transmuted by the blessed power of the divine Myria. Or age. You see, Chrism Ore is no more than one of the ways Myria provides the world with her magical energy. Huh. You don't say! I like this. This is cool exposition. And again, it's not really telling us anything new, it's just detailing and backstory things that we already know to exist, which is nice. Can I go down there? Let me take this five feet. Oh, it's going upward. That's neat. That is neat. Oh! Oh, right. The eye thing that Dias gave us. Bitch floating in the air. Oh, hey, it's the lady from our dream. In the very beginning of the game, she said, My Ryu. Ray. Ina. Momo. Guardian Gar. And Ryu. Hey, what about Pico? Respect him. My brave, strong children who have crossed the violent ocean and the burning desert. I am Miria. She's a lady. Look at those hips. Like, they are something. Oh, great, great and mighty goddess. We have journeyed far, seeking you, that we might know the truth. O oh, goddess, tell us, why did the brood have to be destroyed? Is there anyone who wishes the destruction of life? I certainly do not. However, the power of the brood was too great. Too great for my small, small world. It's a small world after all. Ooh, do we get to see, like, the Brood Wars? As you know, this side of the world is almost entirely buried by sand. Are you going to tell me, that, like, the... Making it almost impossible for anything to survive? The Brood under that sand? I mean, it would make sense because Dragonair is on this side. Life has been driven nearly to extinction. Okay. And I will say, if all the people we saw is the population, there's not a lot of people in this world. <laughs> like, at all. It's pretty scarce. I have to preserve what little is left. I had to save the rest of the world from the danger called the Brood. So, what you're saying is we should just sit back and let you take care of us? Like we were your babies or something? Right? Exactly, Ray. Um, that doesn't sit well. If I did not hold it back using the 
outer sea as a shield, the disaster would slowly, inevitably spread across the entire world. Well, thanks for the sea, I guess. I did not continue to create the machines that are repaired and used worldwide. Civilization as we know it would surely perish, but Windia doesn't use machines at all. But, while we don't have the means now, someday we might be able to build our own machines. If the world were covered by sand, your lives would be consumed with the struggle to survive. You would not be able to build anything. I can see her belly button through her dress. Even if you succeeded in creating the machines you needed, can you say with certainty that you would not also build a weapon with which you might also destroy yourselves, Momo? In the past, this world was large, larger than you can imagine. Many people once lived here in Serzan. Really? Really? But the people fought and quarreled, and the city was swallowed by the desert. Hmm. Interesting. I was unable to protect them. Why is that? I will not make the same mistake again. I will protect you and all the life that is left. By doing what? I understand what you're trying to say. We are weak and maybe we do need help and protection. And the power of the brood may be similar to the power that destroyed the city so long ago. But... What you're saying... What are you saying we should do? Are you saying that Ryu must die? Or that he has to spend the rest of his life locked up in some little room? In an art artificial world? Like Teeple? Ryu's like, I'm not doing that, fuck that. No kidding. I don't like the fact that this is all being controlled by you. That you're pulling all the strings. I'm just like a little kid, see? If you tell me to, s to sit still, I'll just want- it'll just make me want to run around more, yeah? Uh, Ray pulled out his daggers against God. Okay. Oh, Goddess. We have no desire to give Ryu up to you. Nor do we wish to see him killed. Gar drew his weapon on God. Having traveled with him, I can say that I do not believe that the power of the brood is as fearsome and dangerous as you claim it to be. I'm shocked that nearly the entire world is covered by sand, but with Ryu's, with our power working together, then maybe, just maybe... Can, can Pico, like, do something? Enough, my children. I admire your bravery and courage, Ray. What the? What the fuck are you, Thanos? You can't just snap and make people disappear like that. That's bullshit. This is not Infinity Wars, you whore. There is no need to worry. I will erase your memories of this place and simply return you to where you belong, Momo. No! You stop that bullshit right now! Stop it! My strength is admittedly small, but it is all you have to live with. You understand, Nina? Stop it! Stop it! Thank you for bringing Ryu here, Guardian Gar. Your mission is now complete. Do not turn that man to snow stone. He has worked too hard. Um... Wait, what? Wait, what? Did Pico just bring him back? What about me, Mary? Pico can talk! What the fuck? This is so cool. What about me, Miria? What is his voice even? You didn't call my name. Don't you know who I am? An onion? You, you, it, Pico's Idrasil! Ha! Oh. Mm. And he's been my favorite character this whole time before knowing that, so fuck you followers. You, you're Idrasil? 
Oh my god. I mean, it makes sense. You won't be able to get away with this now while I'm around. Because, yeah, they use the Idrasil sap to make the creature, so it makes sense that Pigo technically can be Idrasil. All I'm doing is leading my children by hand, giving them a world they can live in. So Idrasil is the master we can have, so it's like this all-powerful tree. And we did find an Idrasil tree on this side of the world, too. Miria. These so-called children crossed the entire world to get here and overcame the myriad barriers that you set before them. All for the sake of helping their friend, Ryu, find his destiny. Yeah, we're not helpless, bitch. Ryu? Very well. We will let Ryu decide. Um, okay, what do I decide between? What do you want to do? I want to live. If you give up your power, the world will continue to live under my protection, as, I, as it has until now. Your power, which has brought you here, is too big for the world. You don't get to make that choice, like the other brood once did. Accept your fate. Oh, she's bowing to me. Or pleading. Hi, Ryu. Oh, I see what she's doing there because she called us that in the very beginning of the game. Do I get to make a choice? Mira waits with her eyes closed for Ryu's decision, but Ryu cannot make up his mind. Not without asking his friends first. Okay. Tell the truth, I'm really frightened. We're not strong at all. We are. If you go against fate, something awful might happen to the world. But... I've always believed you weren't a bad dragon. I'll always believe that, no matter what happens. Oh, thanks, Nina. I only know to, how to fix machines, you know. But we can dig up those machines, even if they're buried under the desert, and learn from them. Even if the world is covered in sand, we'll still be able to do something. As long as we don't give up, right? Right! My right, Gar, it's your god. Hmm. I brought you here simply because I wanted to know the truth about my own actions. It may, it may have seemed a selfish reason, but I've learned one thing from all this. Now, more than Miria, I trust you, Ryu. Aw, thanks, Gar. It's because of all that nonsense she's going on about that Tebow ended up in the way he did. She's messed with my brother. That's the one thing I can't forgive. Hiko, how about you? Forgive you. Oh, he says forgive. You have to believe in yourself, and in all those who believe in you. Alright, I'm gonna quick save, just in case we actually get to make a choice. A decision of which the fate of the world uh, hangs in the balance. Give up the power of the brood and live in a peaceful world? Watched over by the goddess? Believe in the power of the brood and travel into the empty desert where unknown dangers await. Ryu decides to... Oh my god, I get to choose. Let's see what it is to give up our power. Just see what happens. Carrying the fate of the world was too much for Ryu. If giving up the power of the brood will allow the world to stay the same, then that's the best choice. You have made the right choice. Ryu, that is the true strength. Giving up your horrible power- Don't call it horrible! To protect the world, I'm proud of you, Ryu. Let us go, my Ryu. Where are we going? Taiwan? Ryu chose... Ryu chose of his own free will to give up the power of the brood and stay with the goddess Miria. That's depressing. Does she at least bang him? And so time passes. Unchanging. That's depressing.
thin. So I guess if you don't want to fight the last boss, you can do that, but I mean... Just if you're like a little bitch or something. Is that really the end if you choose that? Wow! Fuck that noise, we're gonna choose our own path! Ryu realized he couldn't give up his power. Of course, he thought of his people and his destiny, Tipo. But more importantly, he felt that if he gave up his power, he would no longer be himself. You realize what it is you're trying to do, do you? By making me your enemy, you realize you are making the whole world your enemy, don't you? Now, nah, you have a weird perspective. I have faith that you, the brood, are not so foolish. Come, um, lower your weapon. Ryu realized it was foolish to challenge a god, but he held his ground. Slashed at her. My poor Ryu. Your great power has driven you mad. No. What of those who do not have such power, like the brood? They cannot live without my protection. By not giving up your power, you threaten their very existence. Just as I always believed. The brood truly are a danger, a threat to the world. Not true, you're just weird. Not true, Miria. It just means that life is no longer content to live in the little cage you've made for it. That's right, Ethersil, you tell her. Ethersil, no matter what you say, I will protect this world for the sake of all life on it. Miria, life in your world has been protected from the desert and death, but that's not the same as living. He's like, wait, what? So is Idrasil a god as well, or just like a great knowledge in this game? Ryu, son of the accursed brood, the time for talk has ended. If you will not change your mind, it grieves me to harm you, but I have no choice. For the good of the world, you must die. False! Ryu, Momo, Pico, I mean Idrasil, let's whoop her ass! Get the fuck out of my party. Uh, uh, I mean, we do that the thing. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, yeah, Pico, Idrasil, you're gonna shine. It pains me. It grieves me, my children, that I must take up arms against you, against the very life I've sworn to protect. You must understand, Ryu. I can't let you. Your power roam free in the world. You haven't done shit about it this whole time since he was a kid. Unobservant bitch. Protect the lives of my other children. I must be coming to a fury. I'm gonna have some like weird form like at the end of Final Fantasy games. Oh, she just goes dark? Farewell, my children. Uh, where are you going? What are you doing? Oh my Jesus! What the fuck? It's huge. Like, and all I can see is her outline. What the fuck? Waylag, you got nothing on her, I guess. Look at that hair! Alright, Momo. Speed everybody up, starting with yourself. Ryu, put up a shield. Pico, do this. Asaka. Asaka. I have severity. I think. I should. She probably has, like, the go away spell of all my buffs, which will be super annoying if she does. Evil eye- oh god, her eyes are creepy. 
Okay, I don't know what Evil Eye does. I'm just gonna say I'm really glad I have an uh, Ivory Charm on everybody. God, are those horns? Jeez Louise, she's just a massive serpent. Like, is she brood as well? I mean, kind of, maybe? Kind of looks like the Tiamat. There we go. Let's get her buddy up to speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. That was classy. That was crappy. I'm a genius. Deal with it. And Pico and Ryu. Put up some barriers. And let's... Fuck it. Do it. Board of Light. So she does happen to melee, which I'm not gonna be surprised if she never does. Well, yeah, we'll uh, almost certainly, you know, reprisal as well as take like nothing in terms of damage. As a shield and this, that'll be good stuff. Oh, I need to equip the other sword with Ryu. What the fuck? Did she just? Get pregnant, give birth, and attack us with it all in a moment. I don't like that at all. That was disgusting. Ooh, Kamala's still the only one with uh, an extra attack. I'm gonna use speed on the other two one more time. Does it even work that way? Let's whip. Seeking swords, it gives him more. Intelligence. What do you have on? Yeah, that's good. And let's enlighten ourselves. And let's start shadow walking. Warp attack a critical blow. Alright, yeah, let's do this. 100% yes. Okay, speed up once again. Hopefully he has bonus attacks now. <laughs> damage. No idea how much health she has, but uh, I'm really not worried. Oh shit, I only barriered Momo, didn't I? We're fine. I think we're fine. Hey, Momo. Feed Pico. Yes! I should do one more. One more enlighten. Seek enlighten. I feel like I'm in uh, Dragon Quest Eight, and just like, you know, tensioning up like crazy, but it's different. Um, might as well. Actually, I wonder if you were a demon. Well, it's mine's eye anyways. Then... Ebon Fire. Let's see what Orn does. Yeah, I've got 79. I got, I'm fine. I'm fine, and I've got plenty of wisdom fruits. I basically just want to show up as much as I can right now. Eh, 43. Let's try Mjolnir. 1203, alright. The fuck just came out of her head? Yeah, I figured she'd do something like that. Yep. That was terrifying. Uh, Momo. Oh, it has to be on herself? That's unfortunate. Try and kill me. And... Yeah, just Shadow Walk. I'm actually really missed that it has to be used on yourself. I would have given it to Pico if I remembered that. Okay, that's decent damage. That will real heal. Um, and the other two shouldn't take too much. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Really, the only way I see her being difficult is if she heals. So let's uh, might on Pico again, and it's just a send. Let's be real here. 
Oh, not yet, not yet. I think he'll... I think he'll get, um... Thing. And I think he'll, um... Suffer the stuff. The, the... Turnly AP cost. So let's try Demon Spain. I'm curious if she counts as a demon. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, let's go for the Kaiser Dragon, though. I think that's optimal. And we've got 300 AP. We're set. Oh, that looks cool. Oh my god, I think she counts as a demon. Wow, imagine if Pico had that on. Hmm. Yeah, that's disgusting. Alright, Pico, punch it back. There you go. That's my boy. Yeah. Let's make sure. How much damage she does there? Guys, breath. How? Oh, we can't. I was hoping we could use Bone Break. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is the perk of the Kaiser Dragon. Is that you can uh, use all of Ryu's skills. So I'm pretty sure it like, boosts his intelligence. So I want to do that as well. Wait, how much damage does she do? Oh, I didn't even pay attention. Now let's try out Ebon Fire. Try a Holy Strike, see how that does? Okay, so she might not count as demon. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, decent damage. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. At all. I'd actually rather finish the fight in um, Momo form. It's pretty decent. It's just... Actually, no. Let's hit her with the Kaiser Breath, because if we can kill her with that, that'd be pretty legit. And almost a lot of damage because of that celerity. Kaiser Breath. City one's pretty good damage, too. We'll just stay and keep doing that every round. Yes, and do this. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know, party. And, um... Yes. Oh, for a second I was like, whoa, is she dead already? Carries up the wrath. It's a cool dragon. Paul... She has a spell called Holocaust. What the fuck? You can't do that. I mean, I know this game's from like the late 90s, but what the fuck? Like, I know Holocaust doesn't specifically mean what happened at the Holocaust. Like, it is a thing of its own. But still, that, I'm surprised. Let's see how much damage this physical attack does. I'm surprised the man, her face got nasty too. This is the last boss, man. She uh, originally was like a, a kind of hot lady in like just a dress and cool wings. And she turned into that shit when we got mad at her. She was like, nah, 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 nah. And then this is Ryu's Kaiser Dragon, which is the strongest dragon of all of the brood. Pretty cool. And it goes. Hey, Ashley. Pretty kitty. Yeah, best kitty of all time. Number one kitty of all time. Did I get picked up by Mama? Oh, you look like you went down. Love your Ashen pants. Yeah, Lady Friend brought the kitty over to me. It was great. Just do this. 
restore form and see something else. Oh, my nose itches. Hey, nose. That'd be kind of funny to go into Tiamat form and just like let coiled for coil, coiled versus coil, basically. And uh, no, no. Shoot him in the face. Free you. What are we gonna send to? Um. Let's do this. And. Er, let's do that. Well. Let's do Eldritch. I, I want to believe that that combustion thing is a magical spell. Wow, her torso looks really unhealthy. Like, her ribs stick out way too much. Girl needs to eat. Death? Death? I'm pretty sure I'm immune to that or highly resistant. Aha! You stupid. You stupid. 1476. My guys. Free you. Wind and fire attack. I'm gonna drop a nuke on her. Pun literally, I'm gonna drop a nuke on her. Check it out. Boom. I dropped a nuke. I think that was the Enola Gay. Let's keep doing this. And this. And let's use Aura, because <laughs> why not? God damn it, Moba. She's fucking huge. How do you miss? I like how this does more damage than um, the Kaiser Dragon did, and it costs less. See that, Cole? She basically seems to know all the magic. What magic does she know? All of it. Right, Ryu loses his immunity to fire because he loses his stats. That's what I need, little seal. You punch her in the face. Well, I think we just beat the game. Little seal got the final blow. I like that. Oh, that's Let's Play number 18 done. We just, seriously just say, fuck that shit. Is she going to explode? That's what gods do when they die, right? They explode. I'm really glad this isn't like um, Dra Legend of Dragoon where Dart always comes in to steal the final blow. Uh, Gar, Nina, you didn't do shit. It's over. No. For you, it's just the beginning. You turn to stone and be pissed. It was a long, hard journey. We did the right thing. Didn't we, Ryu? Um, we need to leave. Gar? No! As a guardian, my life must end here. The goddess. Time to die. No, Gar! No! Go. From now on, you must walk on your own. No! Gar turned to stone! You should have turned to stone at my house! We could have forever loved you! My world... I tried, but, but it wasn't enough. I fear the world would be destroyed again. Again? Well, I guess he means, like, the desert thing. What should I have done? What could I have done? Been stronger, bitch. If there's a god, answer me! So you're not god. Okay, you're... God's calling out to god. Interesting. What should I have done with the brood? Is this like a Jesus thing? Or is either still gonna be like, Shit. Yes! Sister? That's right, they're sisters. It's for the best, Miria. <laughs> You've protected this world until now. That's right, they're sisters. Ah. Diaz can just teleport here? What a bitch. Probably could have teleported us. I guess she was tired. Where are we going? I wanna know. You went too far in your attempt to wipe out the brood? Yeah, Diaz didn't agree with that shit. Or should I call her blue? In the end, that was something your children had to overcome. To go beyond. 
in order to walk on their own. Uh-oh, those are alarms. I wonder if the teleporters will still work. Ether says, like, let's go! Go! Um... What? Did they make it? I mean, Ray did. Why is he walking? Momo's like, Oi! Get your fucking asses over here! Don't worry. They can take care of themselves better than you think. Yeah, Diaz has faith in us. I would say in humanity, but no one's human here. They, and the world, are stronger than we think. I guess it makes sense that she was a serpenty lady, because, I mean, look at Diaz. I'm sure of it. Wait, are they going to die together? Diaz, why do you have to die? You've got badass shoulder things. Oh, gosh. This is all going down. Um, looks like the explosion caught up to us, and Rio's just like, fuck, and Momo's just like, don't look at the explosions. Cool people don't look at the explosions. So can Pico talk like forever now? Was Idrisil like just suddenly awakened in Pico? Was he just playing de playing dumb the whole time? I can't believe I have finally beaten Breath of Fire 3. Oh, that's some good looking Ryu right there. Check that out. Look at those shoulders. Oh, hot damn. I mean, nice. That's the Nina I keep seeing in the book. I wonder if they'll get married. I mean, she clearly loves him. Like, basically obvious. Damn, Nina's got some calves on her, too. Like, she could probably be a monk and just kick people in the face. Ooh, I want to see a high detail of Pico. Por favor. I'm sad that Gar's gone. <gasps> Mamo! Oh my god, you can actually see her ears properly and her glasses and her red eyes. Oh my god, Ray looks like a badass. Holy cr where's Pico? Game devs? Oh my god, this will probably be demonetization for me right here because it's some Asian song that's going to do stuff. We always watch the credits though, ladies and gentlemen. You have to. It is out of respect for those that gave us a phenomenal game that I absolutely loved. And honestly, if you got this far in Let's Play, you loved it too. And if you didn't, why are you here? But I will say, stick around for after the credits because there's so commonly uh, an extra scene at the end. You know, Marvel movies didn't start that shit. It's been around for a while. And if anything, i like to see if the game says thank you for playing because I really appreciate when a game says thank you for playing. I was, wait, I said demonetize. I don't... I'm not a monetized channel, so it doesn't matter anyways. Battle design. Good job, Yukio Ando. I love this battling. And the programming, Tatsu, Tatsuya, I'm not going to try. Magic effects, you guys did a good job. I love the magic effects in this game. They look great. Yugo, more like, Yugi, the heart of the cards. I'm actually trying to talk a lot right now, because if you talk enough over this kind of stuff, it won't like process through the um, copyright infringement stuff on YouTube. So it's kind of like a thing. What is the special, I guess like people special event programming? Um, Muyoko, you only have one name? Okay, mini game design, Yukio Wando, you are awesome. You did something for- oh, the fucking fishing game. Mini game programming. A relatively small team, it looks like. Wow, a lot of people on character- on player graphics. Interesting. Basically event character graphics. Um, okay, cool. Ooh, monster graphics, you guys. Again, fantastic job. Hiroshi Tirada and Kenzi Iada. Map and model creator. Good job, Scroll Spirit. Map texture design. Eriko Bando. Scroll Spirit. 
people. Naomi, it's I moan spelled backwards. <laughs> I remember a guy told me that, like, he was, like, in his 40s and I was in my early 20s. He's like, my wife's name is Naomi, and that's Imo spelled backwards. <laughs> and I was just like, you're kind of a creep. I feel like at 40 or so, you should at least have enough respect for your wife to not make that comment to a 20-year-old. Because it's just, I think it's dirty. I don't think it's respectful. Ending theme, pure again. That's what we're trying to not listen to. Additional guitar... Nice. Voice act. What voice acting? You mean and things like that? That's voice acting, I suppose. And localization staff. Bone Global Solutions. Patrick Riley, Ron Foster, Martin Harili, Brian Watson, Yomi Takura, and David Lowe. They actually did a good job. Special thanks to me for playing all things, guys. Sorry, I meant the technical support. Publicity, I'm sure you guys did a fine job, but you could have done better because it sat in the fucking shadow of Final Fantasy VII. Marketing team, you should have upped your game. All right, Kaboob, Kababu. Corporation, Character Land. Really, there's a place called Character Land? Testing. That's right, people tested games back then. They didn't just release pieces of shit, but Bethesda. But so they do testing now. Well, apparently blind testing. Breath of Fire series director, Yoshinori Kurano. Good on you, sir. Pretty sure you're a sir based on how Japanese uh, uh, company or business culture is, especially at any time in the past. Ambu, itcha. Good job, producers. What about Capcom? Yeah, Capcom. Right. Presented by Capcom. All right. Good job, Capcom. Well, say thank you. Say thank you. And have some, have Pico at the ending, please. I mean, I want to know, like, does the world go to shit? Like, does it? I'd like to know. <gasps> Pico! Oh, but why are you understand? Did he plant himself? <gasps> oh, Pico's growing. He planted himself in the sand so that he can populate as the Idrasil can populate the desert of death. That's what I'm taking from this. So everything's going to be fine. That's what we know. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play. Easily one of my favorites up there with Radiata stories and um, Chrono Cross. So thank you so much. This is a game of my childhood that I, for some reason, never finished. and never got past the Desert of Death dungeon proper. But, um, yeah. Now it's time to focus more um, of all my RPG attention on uh, Legend of Dragon... Or, pff, on Dragon Quest VIII. And then get Dark Souls done so I can start my next project. But, ladies and gentlemen, for the final time in Breath of Fire 3, thank you so much for watching. And until the next series... Bye-bye for now. Alright guys, they do the right thing. They say, thank you for playing Breath of Fire 3, as every game should. You can save your game here and try to fight the goddess again. Do you want to say, sure, let's save it. We can save on a member card too for some reason. It's a, we have a clear game. But ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you so much. And for real, the last time... Bye-bye for now.